I used to do that job in salmon farms. I'm a commercial diver. Oh, did you? Did you cut the the eggs I out of them? Do everything. And they inseminate the everything. eggs. Oh, it's crazy, eh? How cool is that, dude? Like, when does that happen? Hey brother, peace to you, my friend. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, that's okay. No, you're right. What's up, man? Yeah, no, I just wanted to say hi, man. Oh, cool, brother. I, I, I would love to see. I, I used to do that job in salmon farms. I'm a commercial diver. Oh, did you? Did you cut the, the eggs I out of them? Do everything. And they inseminate the yeah, eggs. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy, eh? I was vegetarian at 15, but I was doing that job at 21, 23. Uh, I used to dive to the depth of 50 meters to clean up the corpses and all that shit. Oh, because it's farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to work with ROV, like remote operating vehicles. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they show you what's below these farms. Yeah. It's completely barren, absolutely deserted, and there is a sludge from the shit of from the, the fish. The, yeah. yeah. From the food that they don't eat. They eat about 30% of the food that is thrown at them. So, yeah. And the feces that, that come out of the salmon farms is it's huge. Absolutely and the disease, they get like lice and um, yeah, a lot of the forms, chlamydia, fish. heart disease and all those things. A lot of all the types of diseases that you can think of, you see them on the nets. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, the, tra the problem Oh, so the bycatch get caught in the, the farm? The, I used to release sea lions and seals. And one time we almost had to release a whale as well from these nets. Dude, yeah. that yeah, is crazy. I've been so where were these um, salmon farms? South of Chile. Chile. Yeah, uh, South of Chile. It's owned by Norway. Yeah. And it's sold to everywhere. Like Australia is a big buyer of. Uh, so Chile Australians fish. are supporting everything that happens in these factory yeah, fish yeah, farms yeah, in Chile. Yeah. Because all the fish comes that they and import it all over the world. Yeah. 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 All over the world. Like China is also a big buyer of, uh, of Chilean fish that is owned by Norway people. So in the end, they're not only fucking the animals and the environment, they're also messing with people livelihood over there. Yeah. Because that job is super, uh, super um, dangerous. Like I did it for a couple of years, so my first year I almost died three times. And wow. like people who are doing these jobs that are so extreme, they develop all sorts of addictions and mental illnesses. Because of the job, the jobs push them because to the limits. The job. Yeah, I got to stop on the face, on the job. With a fishing knife? No, 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 like a, one of the divers ran out of cigarettes and the job is so intense that the emotions get intense too. We had a fight and the guy tried to stab me like, like a slice in my eyes. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. I have a few more things like that and I get out. I get out, it was way too much. And People uh, don't think of a, a yeah. salmon farm being such a horrible hellhole. It's horrible, it's horrible. It's like a near slavery situation. Like wow. A lot of people are living in it. Like there is entire towns that are working for this because it pays a little bit better than other jobs. So they keep those jobs underpaid. Like the salmon farm industry keep those jobs underpaid so you have to work for them. Yeah. But when you work for them, you see like horrible stuff and it really like a lot of people get PTSD and stuff like that. I met, right. a, I met a lady who had five kids because they have a lot of kids over there. It's very poor people. Uh, I was very poor and I got into that job. It was the only way to learn to dive as well. And um, this lady had five kids. Four of them became divers and died. And her husband died. She had one kid and the kid was like, there's nothing else I can do here in the area. If I want to remain close to you, I have to go into the salmon farm. So, yeah. Like, like, Poor yeah. lady. Poor salmon. No, my friend. What, what we're asking from people is uh, if you consume sea animals, you're paying for these industries to happen. So all we're asking people to do is to stop uh, these supporting these industries animal cruelty, yeah yeah because if you're not if you're not a vegan you know what a vegan is you eat plants you you don't wear any animal products you don't you, you don't abuse and kill animals for your lifestyle basically yeah yeah so yeah. when you when you do all those things you you, you get all these animal products out like your lifestyle then you can say that I'm you're con consistently against their abuse but these places like the salmon yeah, farm he was no, talking about in Chile. Australia, in Mali, I've seen, I released a shark from one of these. All the bycatch, this is all happening because people want to eat fish and seafood and um, they're dragging up massive trawling nets, dragging up every single sea animal just to target one species. Mm. They throw all the rest over the, you know. Uh, I like, rescue turtles as well and they usually have yeah. hooks and lines in their stomach. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you, I'll give you some information. We don't want any money, but I appreciate you doing that. 
what what you should think about is where you put your money. Yeah. Of yeah. So here's some fish facts, and this is um, this is uh, challenge 22. They help you for 22 days for free on how to be a vegan. But I've made a little booklet here. Yeah. That's got all the sto stores where you can shop, where you can eat, and apps you can use to avoid animal products. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can make a huge difference over your lifetime, man. Thanks very much. All right, man. brother. Appreciate that, eh? No worries, right, mate. Hey. Have a good day, Thank eh? you very much for stopping, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah, how you going, mate? Good, thanks. Son is my mum, should be. Ah, uh, <laughs> say hi to your mum. Yeah, that's cool, man. Like, a lot of vegans don't care much about the ocean animals. No, no. Well, I. I... Yeah, they're not spoken about as much, are they? Yeah, but uh, we are focusing completely on them for the next week. That's good, man. That's Come on, good. guys. Fish feel pain. Just getting the message out there. Yeah, they do. So we shouldn't be eating them, that's for sure. I mean, it's a simple thing. If you believe they already, if you already believe they feel pain, then stop causing them pain. Yeah, yeah check this out. I'm um, kidding, Manly. Yeah, yeah. In, in Ferry Bauer, we had to rescue her because she was very sick, and it's not the only uh. turtle. Like late in the last year, there has been like over six turtle rescues with turtles that are very sick because they eat uh, plastic or they get caught in fishing, fishing line as well. Fishing line. Like people who are thinking like, oh, I'm just fishing one fish for my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, yeah, that line gets caught up somewhere and then the turtle goes and gets tangled and they either die yeah. or they start getting all these diseases from yeah, that. Yeah, from the fishing nets. And just because somebody wants to eat fish for dinner, in the end is killing turtles in Ferry Bauer in Manly. Wow. And like we have taken out of the water a few turtles and and they always have plastic, man. They always have plastic, and most of the time it's fishing. Fishing, fishing line. Related plastic or yeah, yeah. Line and people or won't eat straws, or they'll get like a plastic, different plastic bag, they'll get like a paper bag or this and that. It but do they'll anything. eat fish, yeah, which no, dumps do massive amount. You watched yeah. Seaspiracy re recently? No, I'm already vegan for like 10 years. So it's like interesting. I don't so, yeah, I get it. You know? It's pretty like, interesting, this is what though. You do to, like, I don't want to see that shit. Like, nah, I'm I get it. I'm vegan and I try to do all my things, so it's like. Yeah, it's I, a. I didn't that it should work so bad. We're campaigning yeah, off the back of it to promote it to people who need to see nice. it, basically. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so it's really interesting <laughs> that you come I up. I used to fish when I was a kid. That's yeah, yeah. Wow, well, so did I. I. I used to kick fish and then, yeah. and like, you know, do horrible things. We would spear fish, and I would hit the uh, little clownfish with the spear, just stabbing them because I was ignorant. Yeah. I didn't think anything of it. You know what I mean? But now looking back, I feel like a monster. You know what yeah. I mean? Just sen senselessly torturing animals, you know, and... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I grew up like that, and in my country there's a lot of meat eating, and there's a lot of fishing and a lot of hunting. So you're, you know, you, you're from Chile? Yeah. Yourself? Okay. Yeah. So there is a lot of that, so to break that from that, that dogma, yeah. it's pretty harsh, but yep. it just makes sense. Yeah. I think it just makes sense. Like, if you have a little bit of empathy for someone else, you can have it for another species too. I and mean, I'm not asking them to like, I'm not asking them to do anything special, just not cause them suffering and harm yeah. and abuse and killing. Like, don't have to like, get them tattooed on your face or anything, yeah. or, you know, donate all the money that you have in your bank, just, yeah. you know. So, what's your name again? Lautaro. Lautaro. Lautaro, yeah. Lautaro, did I pronounce it properly? I'm pretty... Lautaro. Lautaro. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Good, yeah, good brother. Do you, do you said you spearfish like you used to? I used to. Dive. Years, no. I, very amateur for yeah, a few yeah. weeks. We did it drunk, yeah. just uh, okay, young. Yeah, like a little bit went down. Where we'd much, hit maybe. the f yeah no no no. My friend had a big gun and they would yeah. shoot bigger oh, fish yeah. and I would have one of the ones that yeah. you know retract on your arm and you let go yeah, and it had the three prongs on there. Yeah okay. yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah so. well, I'm a freediving instructor. Oh yeah. Teach freediving constantly. I and do. I try to drag more vegan people to it because if I feel like more vegans that care already about animals get into the ocean and discover that are gonna put a bit more focus into the ocean, which is even more important than whatever happens on land. Yeah. Like the ocean, it produces like almost triple of the oxygen that what is produced on land. Like the Amazon. Cause, is, yeah. A is fraction peace, compared to the ocean. The ocean is insane. It's, it's like a massive carbon basin more. as well for all the carbon that gets, yeah, it's crazy. 100 reasons. 100 reasons. So it's like I try to bring more beings into the ocean. This is a video that one of my students did. And this is one of my, entry level students. It's me on the video, but um, my student recorded it. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's a gray north shark there. Well, so interaction with animals, like it's not only happening on, on, on land, like people like relate so much to dogs and everything, but it's like I relate to sharks sometimes. 
and we had this beautiful moment like face to face, you know. One sec, yeah, yeah. can he film this moment? I can send it to you if you want to That's okay. Can you see this? Tell him what you were saying to me, this moment here. Yeah, this is a beautiful moment of connection and interaction. There is body language from her and from me. This is a juvenile endangered grain nose shark. And um, I need more people to see this because they can relate, they, they understand that there is a connection to be made, to have with underwater animals as there is with land animals. Yeah. Good on you, brother. It's really good talking to you, mate. If I was here for the weekend, we're leaving. We're leaving on Friday. Oh, okay, okay. But I would love to come diving. It would actually be good for the filming as well. Yeah, we could uh, we could do that. But uh, Joey ah, Carbstrong, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I follow you. Actually. Yeah, you're the one that were like in gangs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. when I when I first got to Australia. Like, I think it was like five years ago. I saw it. I was like. I like this guy, he's not the classic yogi, relax and stuff and stuff. No, 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 I yeah. To, I, used to, I, used to, I used to be okay. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, no. I had a lot of f so it was like, you're vegan too? I value that shit. I yeah, right. Because coming back from this side of life that is a bit rougher, it, it takes more. It takes yeah. more, because if you're already there compassionately, you only need a little push, but I have to change the way I've seen everything. All right, right, let you go. Bless you, my brother. Yeah, Keep up your great work with the sea yeah, animals, man, eh? Thanks, mate. How cool is that, dude? He worked in a salmon farm. He's like, teaches free diving to, for, so people connect with sea animals. He's like having like crazy moments with sharks underwater. He's like rescuing turtles from, you know, plastic that they're eating, fishing nets and stuff. How, like, when does that happen? Literally the most amazing sea life activist vegan just walks past who worked on a f salmon, f salmon farm, you know, while we're doing this. Anyway, if I do get an opportunity, I hate going in the ocean because I believe that's not my, uh, ain't my environment. I stay out here because that's, that belongs to the sea animals. And if anything happens to you in there, it's your own fault. But uh, it would be actually pretty crazy to go there and um, go into the sea to connect with the animals and to film it, I think that would actually, this whole connecting with sea animals campaign that we're trying to do here, that would actually uh, put the, uh, the icing on the vegan cake, so. You know why? Because I don't interview with your life like you try to interview with everyone. Well, you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle, that's all. I want to tell you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle. Can I just look at the hooks? I want the one that's gonna, that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Just come and have a look here. Prisoner. Massive tuner, eh?